Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur, Von Valentius and crew. Uh, so last time we finally made it to this freaking command center, thank God. And he told us about a monastery, which is our next uh, really point, point of interest. We talked to the computer. We learned a bunch of stuff from this dude. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know if we can get to th the monastery from here or if we have to go back to our ship and then land at a different part of the planet, which would probably be my guess. But also we would want to go back to our ship anyway to heal these freaking wounds, bro. They are killing us, literally. Um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Uh, I was looking on the side here. Oh, shit. My bad. Uh, I was looking on the side here, and we have the inventory character sheet, the journal, the map. Uh, I don't know what Corpus Valancius is. Oh, this is just the, the glossary. Okay, cool. Okay, that, that's very helpful to know, actually. Uh, we can vo manage our void ship from here, which is crazy to think about. It's only level one. It's 3,000 XP to level up. Upgrade with 50 scrap. Upgrade ram or upgrade hull? We have 100 scrap. Resource used to repair the void ship. Use scrap to repair your ship and fully restore its whole integrity. Improve the parameters of your ship prow and hull. Uh, or upgrade the abilities of its posts. Scrap can be found while exploring star systems collected after certain space battles. Or purchased from merchants affiliated with various factions. Very cool. I'm probably not going to spend this right now to upgrade this. Because I'm probably gonna need it to fix everything after I fuck up. After I fuck up so hard. Uh, okay. And cargo manager. Everything's looking tip top. Xeno artifacts is looking a little rough, but everything else is like 100%. Hell yeah. Uh, now. Let's get into the actual game, shall we? Uh, I think we Hold just leave? <laughs> Question mark? Oh, look at that. Return to void ship or the upper way. Yes, finally. We get to just go back to our ship. Holy crap. I can't believe I took on so many encounters. Just freaking. Oh, look, there's a new sp there's a new thing. I can't believe I took on so many encounters when I was as hurt as I was. Oh, this also has an unidentified void ship. Here's the Thunder Fang. Artificial facility, artificial facility. Okay, so if we go here, yes, we can't. Spaceport. And then there's the monastery. And then we have the bunker. Okay. So that's actually where we want to go there is however these other places oh this is the prison planetoid never mind i thought this was new points of interest detected and this has new points of interest detected because i remember this having nothing on it so let's actually go over there and check out this unidentified void ship might take a while <laughs> just play cruising okay unidentified void ship augers notice a large object among the lifeless rocks covering the planet a void ship whose signature and origin are impossible to identify from orbit it's resting on the edge of a deep ravine the hull is unidentified of this unidentified vessel is severely damaged rocks around it shattered by the force of the gigantic machine's crash landing the augers have uh, haven't detected any vital signs aboard or near the vessel. Okay, what is up with us just finding random, <laughs> like, destroyed things and then having it be interesting? Uh, let's 
uh, sent a squad to the planet to exploit, explore the void ship, destroy it. Uh, no, let's go take a look at it. Succeeded. Cool. <laughs> Landing party reports via Vox that as soon uh, as they touch, oh, as soon as they touch down, the colossal void ship before them is covered with spikes. It resembles a morbid beast sculpted from darkness itself, menacingly hanging over the ravine. The experienced veteran accurately determines the origin of the unholy vessel. It belongs to a Xeno race called the Dekuri. Dirt. Yeah, Dekuri, I guess. Uh, ready to collapse at any moment, the void ship emits a long, woeful creak as it's promising to drag along into the abyss below anyone who dares to disrupt its slumber. 28 XP, not bad. Holy shit, we got some option, options. Uh, Avalar suggests finding out what uh, Xenos are doing on the Rikard system. Taking heed of the Seneschal's recommendations, the rogue trader orders to send more people to the planet. Anxious, Adira tells the Lord Captain that voices in her head are screaming, repeating words, harbinger, darkness, and death. Not wanting to tempt destiny, the rogue trader decides to recall people from the vessel. Uh, Argenta says that the only good Xeno is a dead one. A true servant of the Emperor shouldn't spoil their hands with Xenos technology. The rogue trader offer or orders that more people be sent to the Xenos voice ship to collect any valuables, valuable findings. Being the God Emperor's chosen, the ro rogue trader won't go digging around Xenos trash. The artifacts of the enemies of humanity should be wiped from the Coronas Expanse. Uh, who do we side with here? I do want to, God, I want to send more people, but I don't want to risk them dying. Cause I'm iconoclast and I'm about the people and I want to save as many people as I can, but maybe we should find out what they're doing here. After two watches of hard labor, the workers managed to stabilize the void ship, the Dakiri void ship, and soldiers who entered the vessel were met with the lifeless bodies of Xenos who died when the void ship crashed. The void ship itself, following its abominable nature, came to life, immediately craving to uh, craving to sate its wicked appetite for human death. The vessels. The systems have reacted to the intruders and senselessly cruel deadly traps have been activated on all decks. See, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Okay, sorry, I got a phone call there. Um, yeah, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, I did get a bunch of shit, though. Oh, an agility test succeeded. Monstrous contraptions designed to mince, rip apart, and incinerate their victims took the soldiers by surprise, but were neutralized before the squad suffered significant losses. The soldiers found several curious pieces of Xenotech on the sinister void ship, but no data that could be shed that could shed some light on why it came to the Rikard system. A Rikard system. We got uh, an assortment of Dakiri barbed needles times 10, Dakari shatter shard times five, venom blade, blast pistol, monofilament grenade times two, and 28 experience. Well, that was probably the best outcome for sure. Um, very interesting. Let's uh, return to the bridge real quick. And let's take a look at what we found. Now, I was just, I literally just said that our Xenotech uh, cargo hold was looking a little thin and the game provides. <laughs> uh, it's voice activated, I promise. Cool. Okay. I keep hitting tab to look at my inventory, which isn't working. So we did find a blast pistol. 
Very interesting. 15 to 25 damage? Cannot be equipped by this character. Why is that? Laser weapons are effective against targets in cover and... Uh, okay, they're just regular laser weapons. Dark Light Blast. 10 maximum ammo, 6 range. Uh, rate of fire of 1. Dodge reduction 30. Armor penetration 60. It is a one-handed ranged weapon light last. Why can I not equip this? Is it because it's a Xenos weapon? Can only Xenos's equipped? I don't have time for this. Incorrect armament. Okay, so if I go C and then go to my archetypes and look at no, 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 no. Maybe? Features? Oh, uh, maybe there was a talent I could have picked up that had something to do with that. I'm only level one iconoclast. Oh, okay. I thought it was... Depending on, like, uh... I didn't realize these were, like, levels that you needed to spec into. Okay, very cool. Movement point six, action point four. Okay. Uh, looks like everybody's recovered. Thank God. Let's go back into the star system here. Now that's no longer a thing. I'm just going to double check this one. To show that it is just the... Yeah, just the planet prison... Uh... What is this up here? Profit factor of 16. Okay. People. Foundation of any ruler or rule are workers and soldiers of faceless, nameless, massive rank and file. In the eyes of the Imperium, they are merely a resource. Easily uh, procurable and renewable. This is provisions. Uh, whether made from corpse starch, plant matter, or fermented fungal mold... These rations provide colonists with sustenance needed to work for the good of the Imperium. Okay. Chemicals, numerous substances contained remarkable powers. Uh, Magi alchemy. Alchemies? <laughs> uh, know how to awaken such powers, and the fruits of this labor are highly sought after by skilled artisans, wise healers, and harsh purgers of corruption. There's Plasteel. The framework of the Imperium was forged in Plasteel. Buildings, machines, armor, and weapons, they all require Plasteel. Mechanisms. Uh, for every problem a humankind faces, it has a tool guaranteed, uh, granted to it by the Omnissiah. His, sacri his sacred gifts are vested in... Vested in the flesh of lathers and me mechanisms. Spare parts and augment, uh, augmentics devices and modes of transport. The forms that knowledge can take are innumerable. Interesting. Prometheum. Highly flammable Prometheum can be used not only as fuel, but also but is also the main ingredient in the Inquisition's purifying fire. And we have weapons, auto pistols, las guns, chain swords, and stubbers are all instruments of the Emperor's fury. Blessed are the weaponsmiths, for without them there is no Imperium. Xenotech. Uh, creations of the ungodly Xenos. Forbidden yet tempting treasures, the twisted mind, minds of non-humans can create wonders that are fascinating in their mysteriousness and effectiveness. Adamantine? Or adamant? Yeah, adamantine. Uh, few substances can rival adamantine when it comes to the toughness. It is used in creating armor for the Divine Titans, hull plating for void ships, and really for everything that needs to be extremely durable and strong. And we got 
flog flogus gun rare and priceless crystals born within flaming magma underneath under immense pressure they're diamonds dude their enemy energy potential is tremendous and fully justifies the cost of harvesting them uh, measured in the lives of miners killed by irradiation. Okay, maybe that's not. Okay, well, very cool. Let's head back to the planet here and actually move on with the game. <laughs> uh, there it is. We're taking everyone. I have to take Wilbur and Pascal, it seems. Very good. Okay, here we are. Oh, we'll cover the landing zone, your lordship. Uh, glory to the Valencius dynasty. Thank you very much, sir. Lord Imperium 85. I rise to the occasion. Lay people unworthy of entering the hollowed, uh, humbly say their, okay, shit. Humbly said their prayers next to the computational altar. Interesting. Uh, am I immediately seeing loot? I am this right here cool is that just gonna be cargo seems to be i should it's about time oh shit why am i only why only got two of them let's get everyone together come on now i should probably get rid of my cargo at some point athletics 100 percent. experience nothing matters more oh Oh, I knocked it over and it had goods inside. Okay, cool. It got a med kit and a grenade. And then some bullshit. Very cool. More lore. Hopefully I, I can five. just... Okay, cool. Awareness, 100%. I, I Judging by the dead it? people's equipment, they were the same wardens that governed the... Sent to mo the aid the monastery. I won't okay, cool. tolerate weakness. Anything else? I think that's it for now. Let's head up here. Open the gate. All right, Pascal's going to do the honors. Makes sense. Awakens the gate's latching, latching system. Cool. Anything in the corners here? Doesn't seem like it. None shall stand in my way. All right, in we go. Okay, more dead people. To be expected. The heretics were killed swiftly and ruthlessly. They never had time to reach for their weapons. Guide my strikes true against the heretics who have encroached upon these halls. Let not one villain escape the God Emperor's retribution delivered by our hands. Your hues are so vivid, Sister Argenta. The hatred that fuels your words and impulses burns like a supernova. Very cool. <laughs> a new challenge for me? That just uh, flavor seems to be. Do we want to go to the left? Do we want to go to the right? There's more dead bodies over here, plus another door. Okay. Anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. More dead bodies. Let's just make sure. Victory awaits! Okay. Whoa, what the fuck are you? You shall be purified by the motive force? I will heed your cries of mercy. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is fine. Argenta's in the back. That's okay with me. Start the battle. Argenta gets to go first. You know what that means? It's shotgun time, baby. Uh, I'm probably gonna go like right here. Do shotgun time? Okay, I can't get all three of them. But I can get two of them. Actually, it doesn't say that I can get them. 17%? Fuck that. Um, 
Oh, okay. I step out to take a shot here. I think that's God good. Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Cool. Um. Should we just straight up run a Dallas gun right off the, the bat? Oh yeah. As there the we Emperor go. commands, I act. This is why I was Oh, chosen. crit. Nice. Excellent. Let's put that back. Uh, I guess we'll take Faith the momentum. Deeds is worthless. Cassia. Oh, you guys are so fucked. Another Excellent. Left. Only one left, and then Argenta can have that. We'll do another 75%. Bam, that knocked him back. Good shit. Oh, and it hurt him even more. I don't know why. Fired up. Okay. That's all her buffs. I forgot about. Electro Priest. Nice parry and dodge. Do it again. Nice parry, bro. What was that little thing he got? Holy shit, this guy's all fucked. Stun, prone, exploit, castigating. Don't know what that is. Flesh injury. Okay, they're all exploited. Okay. Who's up, Adira? Um. Hmm. I guess I'll go. So what is this again? This is cosine next hit against the target will be an automatic critical hit. I think that's pretty good for free. Oh, but then I can't attack. Okay, who's next? It's them. So I should probably do damage. Oh, it's this guy over here. Okay, so he's probably not going to be able to get in. Uh, since all these guys are pretty fucking done, I am going to back off. And then I'm going to exploit. Even or no, I'm going to do this one. There is on him in the Empyrean. And then we even do. more. Man, I'm gonna. But of course. Ah, low roll. That sucks, but it's whatever. He's gonna come in. Hit Abelard. Harry, dodge. Let's go. Fuck you. Uh, y'all are nice and grouped up. I think this is a good play. Well, unless I can do... Oh, yeah, 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 Breakthrough. Gains the Slash ability. Uh, I think I'll just do this Victory for now. Is the and it then... Will be done. I'll do that, and then I get Slash. Teleport behind him. Nothing be personnel, kid. Strike. Nice, another crit. It will be done. I like... I like that he can get on the other side of them easily because that really takes a uh, takes the pressure off of everyone on this side. High momentum. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's give that to Abelard again. He can do that again. Yeah, I took care of this one. Yeah. One fewer Fox, bro. Oh, perfect. Okay, and then that'll do some damage. That'll kill. But who is going next? He's going next. But I have Pascal. And then, uh, I'll, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going after him. Opposing me oh, with your oh another crit, baby! Excellent. I don't even need to buff anybody. 
And then Pascal, you can just fucking shoot this guy. Yeah, fuck. All y'all suck my ass. All right. Good fight. Good fight. They didn't drop anything. Okay. Fair enough. This is this is important. No. Nope. It's about time. Okay. It looks like there's an electric wall. A motive force field shields the passage, threatening to incinerate anyone who touches it. Very cool. Other side it is. <laughs> uh, probably, let's see if we get, uh, fucking. Okay, here's just some garbo. There's no wounds on his face. Oh, shit. Satisfied with that answer, I will repeat my question again. The last Electro Priest you killed, where did you find him? Burn in the fire of dawn, servant of the corpse emperor! And another one meets the limit of his utility. The last of them. Is this the, um... Uh... Hi, are you the Inquisitor? I forgot what I was saying completely. The tall, dark-haired man sizes you up with a quick glance. A supernatural chill is making the air around him crackle softly. Uh, the expensive fabric of his jacket is stitched with gold thread and marked by several reddish-brown stains. A force sword and a vox hang from his belt, and an emblem of the Holy Inquisition glitters on his chest. <clears throat> Isn't the chap we're supposed to meet for the find the, for the Lord Inquisitor? Uh, Emperor protects. Kneel and repent your heresy before a rogue traitor, filthy sorcerer, and I shall spare your life. Uh, Inquisitor Von Kallax, I presume. Yes. <clears throat> well, since you know who I am and are in no hurry to kill me, I infer that you serve the Emperor, not his enemies. Allow me to introduce myself. Interrogator Heinrich van Kellogg's of the Imperial Inquisition's esteemed Ordo Xenos. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Shadow. A great big sun eclipsing chain weaving shadow. I can see the threads, myriads of them extending toward us all, and all of them creeping off toward him like snakes. Shrouding us in poison. My oh my, do I sense trouble, and it's right in my throat. It itches. <laughs> I'll be real with Dara, not a great first impression. A puff of black smoke comes out of the psyker's mouth and dissipates at once. A psyker? Interesting. And a diviner at that. Even more interesting. Are you sanctioned? Uh... Don't you inquisition me! I'm under the rogue trader's protection! Uh... <laughs> Pay no attention, she's all kind of nonsense. <laughs> she talks all kind of nonsense. Uh... Adira is a member of my personal retinue and is under my protection. Your retinue, you say? Then let's go back to my previous question. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Rogue trader v Wilbur von Valencius. Von Valencius? To the best of my knowledge, that dynasty is headed by the esteemed Theodora von Valencius. Has there been a change of circumstances? Boy, has there. I see you take no end of pleasure in doing your job. I can barely introduce myself and you're, I'm already being grilled. <laughs> Theodora is slain. Are his dead slain in battle by the enemies of humanity. In this conversation, wait for a better time. I'm on the Lord Inquisitor's orders to see his acolytes safe and timely arrival on footfall. Uh, Theodore is dead and she's slain by the enemies of humanity. The news is lamentable. My condolences. 
And I presume the heir to the sacred warrant of trade and the lofty title of rogue trader is none other than yourself. Well then, what precisely has brought you to the sanctum of the Omnissiah? I'm here to collect you. I'm under orders from the Lord Inquisitor to offer any assistance you may require, after which I am to provide a, you safe passage to footfall aboard my ship. <laughs> then the timing of our meeting is fortuitous. I am requisitioning you and your retinue for my task. Okay. Re requisitioning? <laughs> Young man, your choice of words is unseemly to the point of insult. You are addressing a rogue trader. All right, calm down. <laughs> I don't imagine you'll be any happier if I say taking into inquisitorial custody. To aid his faithful servant in the fight against corruption is the solemn duty of all whose actions affect millions of the Imperium subjects. Let your example guide those who will carry the Emperor's light across a thousand stars. You are familiar with the works of Inquisitor Alastar the Redeemer. Not every acolyte can say the same, let alone people less initiated. Please forgive my lapse in manners, Lady Navigator Orcelio. It is a great honor. I came to Rykad Minoris on a mission, which a rebellion prevented me from fulfilling. The governor is convinced that malcontents from among the rabble were the instigators, but I immediately suspected a more sinister presence at the root of the mutiny. My visit to the monastery and a few unhurried conversations with some of the rebels confirmed my suspicions. Cool, how can I help? <laughs> Someone by the name of Aurora is leading the rebellion. Data indicates that the head of the cultists is here right now, in the sanctum of the ancient reactor. Given the prophecy of the final dawn, and the especial efforts made by the enemies of humanity to seize the monastery, their goal is to gain access to the Holy Power Source's control circuit and trigger a process that, once started, cannot be stopped. In other words, to detonate the reactor, thus being themselves the cause of their much-touted final dawn. Ah, okay. Blasphemous insanity. Jesus, calm down, dude. <laughs> he had something stuck in his throat. Don't mind him. Uh, the text priest's visor flashes and turns bloody scarlet. A soft hum of some activating systems is heard from under his robe. Precisely what uh, were you doing at the monastery? This wretched planet's troubles are none of my concern. I'm taking you to my ship now. I can help with Aurora. Let's join forces. Uh, I can help. Thank you. Regrettably, the governor's people showed themselves to be unprepared for the perils of this place. <sighs> and extracting blade shards from a person's stomach is beyond my powers. I hope that a rogue trader's retinue will prove more capable than a group of soldiers fresh off the base. Also, real quick, can I say these candles are fucking enormous, dude. What the hell? They look like bad dragons, if you know if you know what I'm talking about. I, I, let's continue. I am positive that not all of the electro priests within these walls have perished. The heretics spoke of shadows emerging from side alleys to make short work of the cultists invading their abode. I surmise that the entrance to their hiding place is somewhere in the hall near a machine known as the Circular Cogitator. I imagine it's one of the local sacred relics which the electro priests treat with special piety. Cogitator, is that how you fucking say that? God, I'm fucking stupid. Cool. In dialogue. Hey, he's a part of the fucking party? Oh, he's only level four. Uh, oh shit. Now we actually have a choice. I think I'll take Cassia over Adira. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, he's only level four Remember, because I haven't leveled him up nothing. any. He's got seven levels, dude. Okay. Holy sh Hold on. Let me take a look at your shit. Okay, so you've just got... Oh, is he dual wielding? 
Oh no, that's his sword. He's got a sword and then he's got the... Oh, what is this? Siphon life. The Psyker drains life from the target, dealing Psyker staff power level times one plus sight rating damage and healing the Psyker for the Psyker's power staff power level wounds. Uh, if the Psyker is already full on wounds, this power instead heals the Psyker's allies with the lowest wounds. Ooh, very cool. Word of the Emperor. All allies in the circle uh, with a five cell radiance gain plus one resolve until the end of combat. Every additional stack of this effect increases the resolve bonus by two. Okay, iron arm. The target gains plus 10 strength and toughness until the end of combat. That's a good buff. Oh, he's a warrior. He's got the charge and the endure. Okay. Crazy, he's a warrior psyker. That's pretty legit, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's level his ass up. Didn't know he was gonna be a whole fucking thing. Okay. Um, I don't remember what we did for Abelard. <laughs> I'll be real with you. Uh, whenever an enemy attacks the warrior, the next, uh, deals plus three damage does not stack, but it can be reactivated if another attack. Okay. Deal an additional four damage to enemies that have no allies in adjacent cells. That's pretty good. Um... Whenever the warrior is attacked, they gain plus one stack of this till the end of combat. At the start of their turn, the warrior gains plus one temporary wounds for each stack. Uh, I think... Oh, this is all his stuff. What actually... Let me go to his biography. No, that's not... Oh, he's dogmatic as fuck. Of course he is with a fucking... Uh... Being a fucking inquisitor. Duh. He's got shit reputation, but that really doesn't matter. Uh, features. What am I looking for here? I want to find out what type of psyker he is. Biomancy. Biomancy fo focuses on manipulating living flesh and biological processes biomancers can heal wounds and alter physical characteristics he's a san sanctioned psyker biomancer it's right here very cool i've never heard of this biomancers specialize in manipulating biological energy and processes with the power of their minds they are masters of the flesh, learning to shape and influence their own physical forms according to their will, as well as their allies and enemies. Note, damaging Psyker powers count as weapon, weapon attacks, counting towards the normal attack limit per turn, and gaining all the benefits of abilities and talents increasing the damage of attacks. For example, a soldier using the running gun ability will be able to use damaging Psyker powers twice per turn. And an operative's anal analysis analyze enemies ability affects the damage of damaging Psyker powers. Interesting. Leaking Aether? Oh, that's his flagship post abilities. Okay. Very cool. What is Blade Fury? Needs Breakthrough. Each use of Slash increases the damage dealt by Slash by plus one. Ooh, that'd be good for fucking uh, Abelard. Uh, for now, let's go Desolation. Let's go Strength. Or toughness. How much HP does he have? It doesn't show me. 
What's his toughness at? 35? Yeah, you definitely need more toughness if you're going to be a frontliner. Endure. Reckless strike. Sworn enemy breakthrough. Forceful strike. Taunting scream. Hammer of the Emperor. Lie to the Emperor. Shield of the Emperor. Uh... Oh, he can have divination. Uh, divinations uh, special specializes in gleaming information and using it to turn the fortune of your favorite diviners. Find useful insights everywhere, manifesting extra sense. Oh, are these? Oh, these are different. Oh, these are different classes we can go into. Or, uh, Psyker classes, I guess. That's interesting. So I can be more than one type of Psyker. That's very interesting. Uh, for now, I think we're going to go Breakthrough. We're going to go Athletics. What's his 40? 40 there. I think this uses their overall... Uh, like, say, Abelard's 55. So whenever I have that check come up, if Abelard is in the party he will be used for said check which is cool uh what's your good stat oh you've got tons of xeno lore pascal's actually more than you so fuck you <laughs> um i guess we'll do athletics Oh no, we'll do we'll do this one, Karoos. Uh resistibility negative effects. That's that's good. Uh let's go toughness again. Let's go. Oh, here's all his shit. Sanguine siphon. Uh, every time the Psyker deals damage, they gain plus one stack of Sanguine Siphon effect. If the damage was dealt to the target adjacent to the Psyker, they gain two stacks instead. Uh, whenever the Psyker suffers lethal damage, the stacks of Sanguine Cipher are removed to reduce this damage by negative one per stack. Uh, until either all stacks are removed or the damage is no longer lethal. That is a very, very interesting mechanic. Strange vitality when the Psyker's allies or the Psyker themselves are under the effects of psychic powers, they gain plus five toughness until such effects end. All the Psyker's attacks, including attacking psychic powers, now poison enemies. This poison deals fuck tons of damage. Uh, yeah, we're going poison. The fuck? Yeah. And then we'll do this again. What's his Medicaid? 30? Uh, now we have... This... Oh, that's pretty cool. Enemies adjacent to the Psyker suffer 10% more damage. That's perfect, because he's going to be on the front lines. He's going to be with a lot of people. Daring Breach uh, gives me 10 movement until the end of turn. The warrior does not provoke opportunity attacks. Till the end of combat, the warrior gains uh, for each kill. Hmm... Deal an additional damage. Which is strength. Did I not fucking look at that? Anyway. Um, I think we'll take the... 
10 here? Or no, we'll get the four. Get the four for each kill. It says ranks available six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is he just all the way upgraded? That'd be weird. Uh, easy target. Where because critical damage increase. Don't care about crits. Don't want that. Thick skin. Plus one to damage deflection. Their parry chances increased by 25% of the total armor. That's pretty good. Uh, he's getting toughness. Let's take the weapon skill, definitely. Right? We want weapon skill? Yeah. So it says five ranks available. Oh, is just is that just how many are left in this circle? Not how many level ups he has. Got reckless strike, sworn enemy, forceful strike, taunting scream. I think we will go taunt on this guy now. That'd be good. Uh, Destin, the Psyker's armor is increased by 5%. This bonus increases by 5% at the start of every round of combat except for the first. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, okay, so it was... It was four left. Okay, well, cool. Now he's level 11, along with everyone else. Very interesting. This guy had an auto gun. Three to five... Is this a lab weapon? No, solid projectile weapons have an increased 50% over penetration. Okay. Well, cool. We now have a new party member. Follow Will my he? Lead. Yes, he falls right in line. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Logic 100%. Pascal, have at it. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Okay. Did not see that coming. Tons of goods. Ooh, a Psyker Staff. Needs to be a Sankage. Bleh. Oh, it's the, the Lightning one. The one that Adira has. Cool. And then what is this? Similar auto sign inscribed on the wall. Cool. Okay. I won't tolerate weakness. Well, now we gotta go in here. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh shit! Is it like timed? Cultist fighter. Yeah. Okay. We gotta time this shit. Okay. Go. 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 Everybody. Submit. Son of a you'll bitch. Die quickly. Surrender to the dark powers. Okay, I wonder if this is turn-based now. I've been ambushed. Motherfucker, it looks like I ambushed them. The hell? Start the battle. Uh, Hendrix. Or Heinrichs? Heinrichs. Let's get in there. And then let's... Oh, I should have given him a different pistol. Should have gave him one of the snub nose pistols. Uh, let's just shoot. 50% when you're right fucking in Get front of him. Target. Three damage. Epic. Uh, let's actually charge. <laughs> Harry, you son of a bitch! I won't let's endure. To it. Get some extra HP. Argenta, you're gonna go up front here. Can I hit you without hitting him? I cannot. Epic. So we're gonna switch over to this. Eighty-five percent. The Emperor will be undone. Six damage, not bad. Can I run and gun? For the weak. And move up. Oh, these actually aren't covered. Or I can't. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I can't actually go over there. So let's 
Go right here. And let's shotgun. Ooh, that actually reaches the other guy behind I'll him, too. It. Very good. Hey, there we go. Now he's almost dead. I'll take the Faith momentum. Without deeds is worthless. Death Probably gonna need it this fucking fight. What? You that was straight. That was a straight bullet all the way, dude. No fucking way in hell was that meant to be. Uh, let's give it to Argento. And then let's do another uh, shooty bang. Can escape the Emperor's judgment. Excellent. Now, can you see anyone from here? You can kill that guy. You can kill that guy. I will do Isn't that this guy. A job for the serfs? Excellent. Uh, I'll put that on you. Voice of command. Cool. Pascal. You can actually... You have tons of movement. What the fuck? Why do you have 11 movement? That's insane. Um, will we need to, it doesn't seem like we'll need to actually, uh, put debuffs on this guy. Yeah. He's just dead. Excellent. Let's, uh, I can get everyone but Pascal. That works. Uh, let's put this on him, I guess. Expose his wounds. Oh, we gotta get the fuck out of here. I just realized Cassie is gonna get fucking lit up. Shit. Really, dude? That's some bullshit, bro. That's fine. She can take it. Jesus Christ, my guy. What the fuck? Leave him alone. Holy hell. Uh, he has a shotgun, so he's not gonna fucking... Can I charge anyone? No, they're all blocking him. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can do anything with Abelard right now. I could shoot through. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna do that. No, don't don't haze the new guy. A tactically sound approach. We're just gonna move up and in our term. Wilbur. Uh give that to My tactics are flawless. Heinrichs. Heinrichs, you're gonna attack this guy. 16 to 22. I have to do it in an arc. That sucks. What is this? Psychic force. Special power that counts as a psychic power. Uh, as a major psychic power. It deals an additional two damage. Two times psi rating plus willpower, I'm assuming. Uh, but may trigger psychic phenomenon and perils of the war. Ooh. That does do more damage. Okay. The veil degradation isn't that bad. Uh, Wilbur, you will take a shot on... I can see this guy. 65% though. Holy shit, I can hit this guy? I think I might take that. Uh, damn. Can't see that guy. Uh... When do you act? And you're poisoned. Let's actually take a look at the poison specifically. All psychic attacks, psychers attack, including attacking psychic powers. Now poison enemies. This deals three toxic damage at the start of the enemy's turn. Okay, so it's not going to kill him, but I got tons of people that are still in line. I think I will take this shot from down fucking town, bro. Dang. That would have been so cool. Uh, let's give that Not to Argento. 
Uh, you can take aim. All too easy. I serve the ruinous powers. Dodge, epic. Um. So I'll get rid of all my movement. Pretty much all of this will get rid of my movement. Will Slash get rid of my movement? Let's try it. Let's just see. It will get rid of all my movement. Okay. Well, Be gone. good to know. I'm going to go here. Uh, can I... Gain plus one resolve. Resolve bonus. Uh, yeah, let's give that to Pascal here. Endure. Let's see to it. More fucking shit here. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's. Can be applied only once for one target per round. It says I can do it again, though, so that's interesting. Anyway, Argenta, get in there. You're gonna fuck this man's entire day. I'll do it. Excellent. Cassia. Ooh. I wonder if, because it has that spot being hurtful. Step aside. Is it gonna the hurt? Oh, that's coming. gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt real bad, actually. Yikes. Yikes, that's gonna hurt. Okay, that's good to know, though. Yeah, environmental stuff is not to be fucked with. Do I have line of sight? Oh, just outside. Oh, and he doesn't have line of sight. Damn, just outside of range there. If only that were possible. Uh, let's give that to Pascal. Yeah, that gives him a lot of temporary HP. Pascal, why don't you fucking use this on yourself, bud? That's a weird health bar, but okay. Uh, let's move you in here. And then I guess you can just shoot at the man. 32%. Not great. Oh, 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 I can hit my shots too, motherfucker. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you son of a bitch. I don't need to do that. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I... Uh, can I put My that on him? I can. Okay, cool. That works. Why don't you move up? Fuck it. God damn it, you son of a bitch. And of course he's gonna- yep. Oh, and his cover's gone. Sick. Avalard still can't fucking do anything, bro. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. You can still brace for I impact and jar. Charge. See how far you can get with the charge. Get right up in there. That's fine. Wilbur. Uh, let's just move you up and get a shot off on you. 95%, 65%. But if I hit him, he's dead. Fuck it. Roll the dice, baby. Okay, did that not hit? One HP. You're kidding, bro. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, uh, give that to Pascal. See if we can hit this shot again, huh, bitch? Damn. Okay. Well, I tried. Um. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. Oh, Pascal was just out of the fucking way there. Uh, let's go here. <coughs> ah, I fucking didn't you. know. 
I can still go in one, right? Yeah. That's fine. Let's also charge in, maybe? Cool. But of course, Lord Captain. Give myself that uh, temporary wounds. Get some up to 36. For the Put that on myself. Glory. Gives me a little more toughness. Argenta, let's go in. Rejoice in battle! Uh, let's see if we got eyes on anyone. Yeah, 55, 27. I totally forgot about this dude right here. Uh, we're gonna take out this guy though. Nope, never mind. We're gonna fucking do jack shit. Oh, I should have run a gun. My ears are ringing. Cassio, you are in pain. That is understandable. Emperor, give me strength. Uh, let's see. I can actually I just straight up kill this guy. Excellent. I'm going to give Argenta. This is a job for the serfs. Oh, I should have gave it to Wilbur. He has a shot from downtown. Damn it. Can I just shoot at this man? Even though? Okay. Not. Doubt is yeah, for we're the just going to yellow it. <laughs> and yellow it we do, buddy. Let's go, bro. As the Can we run and gun and actually act. get in there? We can't get sight on him. Damn. Okay. I tried. And no one can fault me for that. Uh, Pascal is literally perfectly outside of the danger there. Um, can I hit this? I still don't have line of sight on him. Adelard, you can get in there, bud. My place 100%. is at the ball. I took care of this one. Excellent. And that should do it. Okay, let's all group up over here. Quickly, quickly. Or actually, we do kind of want to go back there and get all this. Hey. Okay, here's what we're going to do first. We're going to go to Adelard. No further. You are going to heal Pascal. This will make a fine scar. We function as one. Then you are going to heal Cassio. Help. I'm grateful. Get those wounds out of there. Uh, do I have more health kits, please, for the love of God? I do have one more health kit, and then I have the large med kit. Removes burning, bleeding, or toxic. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Whatever we're gonna go over wish. here. I'm just gonna take Abelard for this. Uh, oh, he had a sniper rifle. Okay. And then this is athletics, 100%. An expected result. Oh, it takes everybody. That's cool. A plasma pistol. Plasma overcharge. Plasma overcharge extra damage. Our area of attack. Interesting. 9 to 13. Not bad. And then we got a multi key. Cool. Pascal, 60%. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Oh, uh, Pascal. Your seneschal is always no, there for you. No, Pascal. Sacred technology 100%. Oh, wow, he actually, he My actually rolled it. Can much more than high blood pressure. I've read about this. Okay. Uh, that was it there, right? None shall stand in my way. Let's take Abelard again. What advice do you seek? Uh, officer. Oh, no, that's just regular swords and bullshit. Cool. Tech use, 75%. Lesson learned. Okay, so that did nothing. Uh, Pascal. Ready for daisy input. Let's take you. Oh. We are the oh, oh, no, Pasco, get out of there. No. No. God damn it, dude. 
I just got rid of this fucking wound. Three wounds? Yikes. Uh, we actually have... Fuck me, dude. I did not want to use all these fucking things. Okay, well, that is super unfortunate. Uh, Pascal, can you do anything with the, this one? No. Okay. Pascal, you fucking sit in the corner there. Avalard. Sometimes. You consult run. the appropriate run, 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 run. Okay. And weigh every step. Let's get these goods. Sometimes though. Cool. You just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. Now we wait for this to run its course. Uh, go, 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 go. Nice little stroll. Go, 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 go. Uh okay, he also had a sniper rifle. Uh let's go here, get this guy. They all had sniper rifles? The fuck? I didn't even notice. Ooh shit. Oh Brace fuck yourself, me. Abelard. God damn it. Ugh, field medicine at its finest. Okay. Go through, go through, go through. Ugh, this master crafted patella augment is not fit for a servitor. Okay, cool. Now. Abelard, stay there. Let's get everyone and move very. Oh, everyone. Can I get everyone but Abelard? Aha, I can. Cool. Everybody get over there. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. Okay. We're gonna wait for it to pop one last time. And then we're gonna move to safety. There it goes. Go A through. Everybody go me. through. Okay. Awareness 100% Cassia. Thank My you. House would be proud of me. Cool. Now we're gonna select everyone. Now we're gonna get these goods. Pascal, get that. This exploratory is oh, thank God I needed that med kit. Uh, is there anything I'm not seeing here? Okay, cool. Cool. It's about time. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to start a cutscene. Okay, well, this is a fucking huge problem. What the hell? A crowd of cultists has surrounded a tech priest cruci crucified upon a mechanism. A rhythmic whispering repeated by a hundred voices blend into some blasphemous enchantment. Powerful discharges from the motive force run through the machine, causing the unfortunate prisoner's body to convulse brutally and forcing woeful cries of pain from his lips tortured tech priest. The tech priest's hoarse voice echoes under the ceiling. In the clinch claws of stagnation, in the shackles of iteration zero, under the iron wing, let the cycle be discontinued. Pascal's whatevers spring <laughs> into combat mode instantly and wrath rattle from his vox. I am registering a severe violation of purity protocol. The blessed armament has been corrupted by heretics and is being tortured. Are you sure he's the automatic? Look around the hall. Uh, how is this bearing? How is he bearing the torture? We must save him and let's kill them all. Uh, look around the hall. <laughs> Heretics have taken position everywhere and more. Many more are doubtlessly hiding in the passages leading out of the hall. For now, they are all focused on the sacrilegious torture of the tech priests and do not notice you. Are you sure it's him? Oh shit. Are you sure it's him? Confirmed. I do not observe his face, but I recognize his words. Let the cycle be discontinued is a blessed. Oh, Amaranth's logo motto. How is he bearing the torture? A devotee of the I'm Messiah is capable of withstanding great bodily torture with no less of no loss of functionality. But where flesh reinforced with sacred iron will preserve, the purity of the spirit may perish. 
I hypothesize that the heretics have made the blessing, the blessed amaranth, uh, a participant of some variety in some variety of sacrilegious ritual. Uh, those sacrilegious torture, they are trying to break his will and turn him into an unholy terminal with which to control the reactor's outer power system or circuit system. Tech priest colors are strained with grime. They are diluted, painted over with rot, and yet his heart still holds a cinder of bright red. This dying flame can be ignited anew. Okay, so he's not... He's not, uh, we must save him without risking his life. Uh, we can use the blasphemous clothing as a disguise. Unrecognized, we can sabotage the power unit, overloading them and thus cleansing the hall of heretics. Interesting. Okay, the lighting... The lightning discharges have charred the cultist corpses with the smoke rise from the empty eye sockets whose contents have evaporated. <laughs> Their clothes are covered in blood of innocence and crudely painted over with emblems of the arch enemy, uh, which exude a repulsive air of soul decay. I shudder with disgust at the mere thought of having to touch clothing adorned by uh, with unholy symbols. Symbols let alone wear it. This is the first step towards falling, a small compromise with evil that will lead to something greater. Is there truly no other way, rogue trader? The signs of the arch enemy are not just painted symbols, but con conductors of its will. The words of their prayers, even spoken without faith, their, co their coats of arms, even deceitfully worn, uh, all this increases the presence of the rune, ruinous power powers near you and draws their corruption atten corrupting attention to you. Uh, Cassia stares in horror at the co corrupted clothes and scattered human ashes. Do not make me. Okay. Uh, what is the essence of your plan? You would disgrace yourself by donning these tainted rags. Do you realize this plan sounds like suicide? Iconoclast, if it helps save a worthy man, I, I will put on the cultist robes. I'm actually curious to know what it's like to walk in the heretic's shoes. I will not allow corruption to touch you. We will vest ourselves in faith and kill every last traitor to the Golden Throne. Are you suggesting we pass on the chance to kill them all with our own hands? Forget it. I'm not missing out on the fun. Uh, if it helps save a worthy man. I pray that the Omnisaya gives the blessed Amaranth enough fortitude. Pascal grimaces as a new wail of pain rends the air. Time passed five minutes. Okay. The heretic's garb clings to your skin like a greedy leech, uh, tingling with foul fever spread over your body. Tingling in a foul fever spread over your body as though uh, these tatters have imbued the vile contents of their former wearer's soul. Very cool. Victory awaits. Commit sabotage. Let's go in. Say hey. Uh, where exactly? Command throne. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else to interact with. There's goods over here. Just some crap. All right, let's go. Ah. Okay. 
the persuasion is probably the way to go. A grim-looking heretic walks up to you resolutely, blocking your path. He studies your disguise with suspicion. You note that his left eye has two conjoined irises, while his right has four. I don't know you. Who are you, and why haven't I met you before? Think on your feet. No, we're gonna go persuasion. Slap him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what an idiot. Uh, throw up your hands sheepishly. I'm new, was sent here to slaughter unbelievers, and I'm only just finished. Yeah, let's go. 108 persuasion or whatever it was. You better believe I fucking succeeded. Cultist smiles bloodthirstily. Ah, oh, you're new. That's right. Every newcomer must slit a false believer's throat to prove their loyalty to the edge of daybreak. Did you enjoy it at all? You don't have to answer. I can see you did. Go ahead, brother. Epic. Man throw not ready for the power unit Linton. Uh, hold on. Well, there's more goods over here. Oh, and goods over here. The machine gun grants me insight. Yeah. Uh, I should have asked him about his plan. I won't tolerate weakness. Ah, there it is. I'm assuming. Safety system control altar. Uh, the altar is adorned with gilded skulls. Threads of metal that used to be uh, electus are fused to the bone. Uh, once majestic, the altar now been desecrated with blasphemous images, images of blue-green suns. Some of its levers and buttons have been pried from their sockets, but me the mechanism still glorifies the Omnissiah with its operation. Okay, I identify this as the safety control altar for our diversion to succeed. This bla blessed machine must be executed and may its spirits forgive us. Let's do tech news. You got this, Pascal. Succeeded. Pascal offers a short Beneric prayer. Then enters command after command to set a trap for the ma machine spirits in, in a, inhabiting the altar. The code bore out of the Twix text priest tr tinkering causes the spirit to flutter confusedly in a snare of impossible commands. Heat up, heat up the altar's uh, circuit boards and perish forever in the showers of sparks that burst forth from the melted wires. Maybe be granted the Omnissiah's forgiveness for this act. I am registering a general shutdown of the security system. Okay. Destroy that. Cool. That's like a... That looks like one of those, like, uh, fortune teller guys. You know what I mean? Anyway. Distribution Servitor. Command Throne. Does this do anything now? No. Uh, let's just use this. A crown of heavy golden Nero augments uh, rest upon the Servitor's head. Oh, okay. The crown is bent and broken with from ruthless gun butt blows. The pale body is covered with blasphemous inscriptions carved into the withered flesh. Identify the Athali as the distribution uh, servitor. I am registering upon its traces the sacrilegious violation of the right of operation. The probability of its responsiveness to command is below average. Chance 100%. Chance 100%. Skill value, oh, difficulty modifier 55. Okay, so I'm gonna get both of these. Awesome. Uh, address the server diminutely. Your function is to serve, and I command you to serve. Try to conduct a restart ceremony. Uh, it doesn't matter, really. 
for the glory of the Omnissiah, let this machine spirit sleep that it may awaken and serve again. Pascal gently touches the servitor's crown, deactivating one of the segments. Let the outer neural connection circuit be plunged into darkness. Another touch and the several and several lights on the crown go out. Let the command response hub fall silent. Pascal switches to uh, binaric, binaric speech, accompanying his every action with a line from the sacred hymn. It is amazing how the reverent awe in the tech priest's voice can be discerned even through his rattling vox. Suddenly, every light on the servitor's crown comes alive. A shower of sparks burst from the augment's uh, uh, augmentix uh, on the servitor's brow, and several black ash tinted tears run from the empty sockets ready to serve. Energize the hall power units to maximum. It will be done. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Now we follow my lead. Now we go to here, right? The the throne. Aha. Okay. The text priest corpse is his throat slit. Sits upon the splendid command throne, laced with finely wrought motive forth paths. A contorted expression on the righteous anger is frozen on his face. A black blindfold covers his eyes. Toughness, 95%. Uh, sit down on the throne. Okay, hold on. This is the fucking command throne. <laughs> this is where the power unit actuation and shutdown litanies are recited from. The blessed uh, blah 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 himself. Uh, has the honor of closing the circuit of the motor force flows through. Uh, I'm about to be greatly honored or otherwise thoroughly charred, maybe both. Uh, you can do it. Pascal freezes and a quiet whisper comes from his boss. Request denied. I am not authorized to sit at the command throne. Such an act considered sacrilege. Okay. Oh, I could just fucking tell him to do it. Saving the the relic and mentor justifies a minor infraction of the rules. <laughs> Succeeded. Pascal casts a scrutinizing glance at you and nods reluctantly. Situation deemed an emergency. I request Omnicide's forgiveness for the transgression. I'm about to commit... Uh, the tech priest's body winces from the motive force just discharge, but his vox begins to recite the sacred word of the litany uh, as his fingers activate from the command the command runes with precision, unhurried movements, precise unhurried movements. I am recording a successful activation of the power units. It fucked. Idiots. Cool. I'm glad we stood all the way over here. None now we don't have to uh, my way. wear anything anymore. Now we're just gonna. Uh, what is this? Just a regular las gun. Okay. Now we're going to just loot everyone, bro. I guess Pascal's gonna do it. Holy shit, look at all this gear, bro. Yeah, damn. Was that all of it? No, nope, there's still some over here. Stars. Cool. This guy, for some reason, isn't lumped in. And I think that's it. We all leveled up. This is going to be a long fucking episode. Get ready. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's actually go and level up. 
Air of Authority. The officer increases the ally's resolve by whatever until the end of combat. The target is under the effect of voice command. It will start their next turn with plus one additional action point. Okay, cool. Get back in the fight. The officer encourages an ally who is immediately recovering from burning, bleeding, toxic, or stunned effects. If the target is under the effect of, uh, they also gain temporary wounds. Break their ranks. This ability can only target allies who have enemies adjacent to them. Until the start of the officer's next turn, all melee attacks made by the target deal additional damage equal to blank multiplied by the number of enemies adjacent to the target with the ability is used. If, the command, if under voice of command, they immediately make an attack of opportunity against the adjacent enemy, uh, targeting the one with the lowest remaining wounds. Move, move, move. Officer immediately grants an ally additional MP equal to fellowship bonus. The target can only move, use movement abilities, heroic acts, or desperate measures during this attack extra turn. If he's under the voice command, it ignores opportunity attacks until the officer's turn. I think this is super good. That would really help Abelard and Heinrichs. I think that's good. I think get back into the fight is good. I think those are my next two picks, maybe, hopefully. Um, For this, uh, if the noble uses the ability on their servant, the servant gains plus eight AP. Uh, noble servant gains plus two movement points every turn. Servant kills the target uh, that the noble dealt damage to last turn. It gains plus one AP. If the noble and the servant are adjacent to each other at the start of the turn. Yeah, 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 no. Ooh, I could just bump persuasion by 13. Jesus Christ. Karis can also reroll failed attempts. Ooh. That's also pretty good. Um, I think I'm either going to go that. Or I'm going to go you go on. I think I'll go you go on. Avalard. Toughness, weapon skill, agility, strength. 45, 35. Yeah, we're going to buff that toughness, baby. And then we're going to buff this as well. Oh, shit. His is 70? Well, fuck. Oh, that's right, because I bumped the shit out of it. What am I thinking? <laughs> uh, fuck it. We'll, we'll do it for him, too. Uh, perception, strength, or willpower. 40, 30, or 35. I guess we'll pump the 40. Uh, flensing faith. Melee, flame, and melt attacks against demons and psychers that deal additional damage and gain armor penetration. I don't use any of those things. <laughs> the Emperor protects. 3% chance to ignore any enemy attack. That's pretty crazy. Um, that's cool. I think I'll take this. All enemies in the area of effect of that gain plus one stack of disturbed effect. Enemies that are adjacent to the devotee gain two stacks of disturbed instead. Also, all demons in the area suffer an effect damage equal to the momentum stored to the restored to the uh, guy by this. Blah, 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 blah. Cool, we'll take that unless there's something cool down here that I need. 
Alter weapon proficiency. What about bolt and weapon expert? Armor penetration. Yeah, no, I think that's good. For you, you're a warrior as well. We're going to go weapon skill. And then I guess we'll go... Athletics? Apple Art's pretty athletic already. Don't need that. You know what? Let's bump your... Xeno's lore. Get it up to... Uh... Oh, that'll put it past Pascal, actually. Unless right here it gives it to us. Uh, precise attack. And next attack against the target affected by an exploit. Target's cover efficiency will be reduced. Uh, this attack will have bonus hit chance. That's pretty good. That's just straight up a buff. Uh, I mean, a debuff to them. I think I'll take that. Uh, calculator relations, forge and fire. Uh, let's go. With plasma or melta weapons, not good. What does that say? Pascal's melee attacks apply the machine spirit communion effect on all attacked enemies. Cool. Uh, attacks and effects on exposed ability gain bonuses against enemies under the effect of mean communion uh, as if those enemies had two more stacks of exploit that's pretty good for you uh, we can also take move 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 I think. Yes. Holy shit, there's a lot of these. Okay, I think we're gonna... Bloody Augury. Damage by the navigator suffer perception bonus. Uh, additional damage from any source of warp damage. Bonus damage stacks. Okay, well, I don't do warp damage, per se. Every enemy in the navigation has line of sight has a dodge and hit chance reduced by her perception. Her perception is pretty good, right? Yeah, 70 right now. Or no, 60. It's already accounting for the plus 10. Okay, well, still. Oh, it's awareness I was thinking of. Okay, cool. Well, before I talk to this guy, I am going to save my game and stop the episode because Jesus fucking Christ, I honestly wanted to stop it before, um, before doing this whole thing, but I kind of just triggered that cutscene and didn't want to stop it. But yeah, uh, next time we're going to be talking to this guy, we're going to be finishing up this place, hopefully. And we got a new party member, super cool Psyker warrior, very interesting combo. And we'll be playing around with him more next time. I'll see you in the next one.